Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this session, so we are going to discuss about a union's concept. So, what is a union? Unions. It is a user defined data type. So, already we discussed one user defined data type in a previous sessions that is structure. Right. So, what is the use of user defined data type and what is the use of union? So, first we will see, so what is the structure? So, when comparing with the structure, learning union is very easy. Okay. So, what is a structure? Right. So, we can create one user defined data type by which we can store n number of elements of different data types. Right. See, how we are creating a structure, the keyword is a struct and here it is, so we are using identity for every structure identity is important, identity and inside we are creating n number of elements of different data types, data type element 1, data type element 2 and so on, data type data type element 3. So, n number of elements we can declare right of different data types using a single variable and of course, it is a working like a data type, but here it is generally primitive data types means what is having only so one word, but here it is in case of user defined data types we need to consider two words struct and as well as its identity. Simply we cannot use a struct and we cannot use a identity combinedly we have to use the two words. How to solve with this, this problem with the help of type def declarations and here it is now with the help of structure. So, now easily we can write the syntax of union just in place of a struct keyword. So, you can write a union keyword and union is also having identity, identity and here it is so different data types element 1 data type element 2 and so on data type element 3 that is right. So, what is a difference right here it is a the syntax of structure and the syntax of union right here it is both are looking same. So, but what is the main difference between structure and union right simple thing. So, whenever you are allocating memory to this structure variable all these elements get independent memory locations. Suppose n elements are there, n memory locations will be created. At a time we can store all the n elements and at a time we can retrieve all the n elements. We can process all the elements at a time, but in case of union, in case of union all the elements share same memory location. Nothing but at a time all the elements we cannot process. Right. If you see one example of both, then you can understand. Now, see the examples of structure as well as a union. Suppose, here it is we are declaring one structure, struct, any name you can give. Suppose, st we are taking. So, now, inside the structure, I am declaring three variables of three different data types. For example, one is a character c, second one is a short type s yes. third type is a float data type suppose f. So, total three variables we declared. Now, whenever we allocate memory to this structure variable here it is how we are allocating the memory to this structure variable struct st this is data type. When the memory will be allocated means whenever you declare a variable using this data type then it will get memory allocation. For example, variable name we are taking V A R. So, then V A R memory will be allocated to this variable right. How many blocks of memory will be allocated? Here three blocks of memory will be allocated. So, one is C and one is for S and one is for F. C what is the size of C? It is one byte. It occupies one byte what is the size of short? It occupies 2 bytes. 
size of float occupies 4 bytes. So, total so total 7 bytes of memory will be allocated to this variable var. So, what variable holds? It holds the base address. It holds the base address 2046 consider. How can we access the values of the structure elements? Simply var dot c, var dot s, var dot f using dot operator. So, we can also call it as accessor in structures. With the help of that accessor, we can store all the elements into this structure at a time and we can access or we can process all the elements at a time. But in case of union, that is not possible. Here it is we are declaring. So, union type variable. So, first union definition is important. Suppose here it is we are defining one union. So, with the help of same variables. So, one is a character type variable, one is a short type variable and one is a float type variable. Now, we are declaring variable to this union. So, look at this union, un. So, variable name we are taking var only. We are get memory allocation. Sir, how many bytes memory will be allocated? Only 4 bytes memory will be allocated only 4 bytes memory will be allocated for C, for S and for F. For F, all the 3 variables sharing the same memory location, sharing the same memory location, right. How much memory 4 bytes are? Why sir 4 bytes? Why not it is a 1 byte and why not it is a 2 bytes? Just consider suppose if it occupies only 1 byte, we can store only a character, we cannot store a short type variable and we cannot store a float type variable. Suppose if it occupies 2 bytes, we can store either character or short type, but we cannot store float type. For example, if it occupies 4 bytes memory, so then we can store a character or a short variable or a float variable. Any type of data we can store, but right, we cannot store all the elements at a time. Okay. So, one by one we can store, we can process all the elements of union right one after another when required. If you want to access all the elements at a time instead of using unions, we should go for structures. So, then why unions introduced? It is easy and it is a flexible. Yes, it occupies much memory. Unions were used in early days. So, when memory is at premium level. Right. So, of course, nowadays no one is using unions concept. Right. So, nowadays memory is a cheap. So, that is why. So, they are using structures only. No one is using unions. If you use unions, right, all the elements we are declaring inside the union sharing the same memory locations. Sharing same memory locations. So, by that time, we can define n number of variables at a time but we can process only one element at a time. How? We will see one example. So, then you will get more clarity on this. We will see one example that you will understand easily right how unions execute. Suppose, so union declaration union un inside we are declaring two variables short a short b two variables we are declaring. Sir, where we can write unions in a C language? Just like a structures, a union definition can be either local or global. So, local means what? Inside a method, inside a function. If you define inside the function, that you can access only within that function. Suppose, if you define it as a globally, so then throughout the program, we can use that union. Okay. See, for example, here we are defining one union outside to main function. So, now we are writing main function. Inside the main function, I am creating variable for this union, union, un. So, variable name var we are giving. Then var gets memory allocation, but how many bytes memory will be allocated means only 2 bytes memory will be allocated A and B sharing the same location. 
both are pointing to same location so va are pointing to this location by holding this address the block address it is holding now how can we access the elements of union same story same accessor we are using just like a structures that is dot operator only here var dot a equals to 10 we are storing a value 10 into the memory location a with the help of pointer var the 10 will go and store into this memory after storing the value of a we are printing b value printf b value we are printing percentage d var dot b we are printing so what it will print b is also pointing to the same memory location so that it prints the value 10 b value it will print 10 in the next line var dot b equals to 20 we are storing 20 we are storing into the location with the help of variable b but b is also pointing to the same memory location na? so 10 is replaced with a 20 so then whenever we are printing a value that a value is already replaced with the new value of b so whenever we are printing the a value var dot a it will print the value so what is the a value now it's 20 so 20 it will print 20 so by using this program we can understand easily right here it is whenever you allocate the memory to this union a variable and b variable pointing to same memory location so whether you are using variable a or whether you are using variable b so whatever the data you are storing right whatever the data you are processing so that will affect in a single memory location so that is why here it is storing the data with one variable and printing another variable gives odd results so that is why at a time we can use only one variable in the entire union structure but while defining n number of variables you can define no matter but always we should work with only one element at a time okay so this is the simple introduction of a unions concept thank you for watching for more videos please subscribe to narish id channel thank you Thank you.